Congressman, so do you think the Democrats are going to risk shutting down the government over this or go along with this to say, yeah, see, we're on the side of the rule of law? Well, you notice that President Trump was correct to get out in front of this. Uh, literally the day before, or maybe two days before, he was shot in Pennsylvania. He came out in favor of attaching the SAVE Act to a funding mechanism. Why? Because he gets it. We need to call the bluff of Democrats. Indeed, five Democrats joined with all Republicans to pass the SAVE Act in July. But Chuck Schumer, Joe Biden, and Kamala Harris, they don't want to have anything to do with it. And you know why? Because they used to talk about, you remember this, Laura? They used to talk about a pathway to citizenship. Now they don't even care. They're just blowing right past citizenship, and they're saying, just go to the polls and vote. Mark Kelly is lying. You put up the data. You put up the information about Texas. You showed other states. Virginia, notably, had 6,300 cleaned off their rolls. But what most of your viewers probably don't understand is that federal law currently prohibits states from being able to check citizenship when they register voters. The SAVE Act would fix it. President Trump is correct to want to attach it to a funding bill in September. Mike Johnson is correct. We just now need all Republicans to get behind it and jam it down the throats of Democrats who are more interested in perpetuating their scheme of pulling in voters for Democrats than standing up for citizen-only voting. Well, Elon Musk is 100 percent right. Anyone who does not favor showing ID to vote, a slightly different issue, but showing ID to vote, is somebody who believes ineligible voters should vote. I mean, it's as simple as that. You have to use an ID to get on a plane, to do a lot of other things in this country. Uh, that why shouldn't you actually show that you're a citizen of the country in some way, shape, or form to be able to vote? Uh, it, it, it makes zero sense. But the media congressmen always want to find a way to downplay this and also tie it back to Trump. Check this out. Speaker Mike Johnson pandering to uh, former President Donald Trump as we get close to Election Day, trying to attach what Democrats are calling this poison pill, the SAVE Act, to any sort of continuing resolution. That This is uh, sort of a, a fear tactic, as, as Democrats are calling it, to try to scaremonger ahead of the November election. Congressman, your reaction to that? Yeah, scaremonger, right? This is all the talking points right out of their normal uh, playbook. Look, the fact is the American people, by 85 percent, Laura, 85 percent of the American people support requiring that only citizens vote in American elections. Democrats are on the wrong side of the issue. They're scared to death that President Trump gets it. He's about to call their bluff. Mike Johnson and House Republicans want to rally behind President Trump to stand up for that simple concept. And if, if, here's my question for Mark Kelly and all these Democrats and the woman that was just on the screen. If there's no problem, if you say that there are no non-citizens voting, then what are you worried about? You know what they're yeah. worried about. They're worried we'll actually stop it. 